So this is Om Tech Education and this is another video. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to teach you about OpenCV card detection. So for all of you machine learning learners, um, this is a good video for you. So to get started, install Sublime Text. I already have a Sublime Text installed on my computer, but I will show you how to install it. So go to sublimetext.com slash tweet and install this so once you click this you will get the file and you can go on from there if your windows laptop is a 64-bit then install that if it's a 32-bit then install this windows so to check if your laptop is a 32-bit or 64-bit go to your file explorer and then go to this pc and then click copy and then you will see here if your Windows laptop is a 64 bit or a 32 bit. Mine is a 64 bit. So I would install that. So after you've installed that, open up Sublime Text. And you should have a screen like this. So, to get started, so in OpenCV, we're usually referring to machine learning. So here we're going to detect cars, so we're going to have a sample video of cars moving on a highway and the OpenCV program, this code, is going to detect the cars. It's going to make a, basically a container or a square around the car. So you'll see that later on. So we first have to install these packages. Since I already have my packages installed, you have to install this. So I'll show you how to install this. So open up command prompt. Then type pip install. So these three packages you have to install. So import cv2. So cv2 is basically uh, open cv python. So pip install open cv python. So I already have it. That's why I said requirement already satisfied. So, uh, if you have not installed it, you'll have a different thing. You'll be like, install. You'll say, install in packages. So, after you're done that, pip install time. So, you'll notice that it will say error. because This is because time is inbuilt with Python. So, as long as you have Python, you have time. So, no need to worry about that package. Now, pip install numpy. Same goes with the first package that we installed, OpenCV Python. I already have this installed. So for you, you're going to have to install it and it will say install in package. So once you're done all three packages, now I'll teach you about the code. So import means we're basically importing the packages into the code. So we're basically importing this three packages onto the code. So, first of all, we're importing OpenCV Python, and then we're installing time. Then we're, in, then we're importing NumPy SMP. So we just installed these packages. So these are basically done. So, we are importing them onto the code. Then, car underscore classify equals cv2 dot cascade classifier and bracket car cascade underscore car dot xml you might be wondering what is car cascade underscore car dot xml well i'll show you what that is right now so car cascade underscore car dot xml is basically for machine learning so go to this website on github i'll link this link in the description below so you won't have to worry so go to this website and then you're going to install any of these but for this video we're going to install the car one so you will see uh the car uh you'll see the car cascade and so car the xml so the car xml is unfortunately not on here but if you want to install the car underscore xml you can go search our cascades github and then you can go on here 
you can just search where you can find it. So this doesn't have it, so you can search our cascades and so our uh, XML. So you can basically search around with this. This is basically for machine learning. So you can go here and yeah, like yeah, it's not here. So this person had uh, the XML files, right? So his name is Chris Knight. So you can search him and then you can go on his GitHub. And then search R Cascades. So it isn't added. So R Cascades. So basically, you can search and you can find this file from the web. So basically, it's not on here at the moment. So um, if you find it, uh, let me know. It, they might have removed it or something. So, anyways, once you find that file, you're gonna have to download the file. So I'll show you how to download the file. So to download the file. You basically have to go on. Let's choose a uh, control based for that. For example, let's choose this. So click that file name, and then it should load onto another website. So it has loaded onto uh, GitHub, so on a different page, basically. So. Uh, this is the person, so uh, credits go to him for, for this file. Uh, so after this, uh, click raw. And then, you see what, what you want to do is basically just right click and then click save as. And then save it wherever you want. So I uh, can just save it uh, here. And then you just press save and you know. so you should save that in your code like where your code file is you should save it so once you're done that that is our cascade and the dot xml file so that is that so after that cap equals cv2 dot video capture so basically here we just this is the video capture this is the video that you want so in case mine is cars dot so that is the video. You can put any video, but make sure it has cards so it can detect the cards. So after that, while cap dot is open in a bracket and then that. So that is basically the loop. So then time dot sleep and then point zero five. So that is basically the time of sleep and then ret frame. Uh, this is basically the frames. So yeah, that's basically the frames of the video. So gray equals cv2 dot cvt color and frame and then cv2 dot color underscore b yeah b uh, gr2 gray. So that is basically uh, you're converting the you're converting it into uh, RGB form. So basically, you're doing that. You need to do that in order to get into RGB form. So open cv detects RGB. So that is that and cars equals car underscore classifier dot tech multi scale and so that gray so that is there and then so that is basically multi scale so yeah uh four x y w h in cars so that is basically the frames again and then so they basically tells the frames in the video so it basically makes remember I told you it's gonna make around the card is going to make that a container so that is basically that it tells the frames to make a container around the card so it's going to make a rectangle around the card so then cv2 dot uh, i'm showing sure, uh, cars frame so that basically is for the cars and yeah so if cv2 dot make the one equals uh, 13 so basic that i'll show you later so that's basically when you load the program and you want to close the program, 
13 is the key to close the program. So 13 is basically enter on your key. And that will close the program. And then, then finally tap the release and then cv2 dot uh, destroy all windows. So destroy all windows means it basically means close the program. So uh, after teaching this, uh, hopefully you're confident of uh, each command. So yeah, so now let's run the program. So I'm using Sublime Text. So Sublime Text, uh, you have to basically uh, press Control and B to run the program. So press Control B, then it should run the program. So now it has run the program. Uh, so perfect. Um, uh, now just wait for the video to load. It's a little bit long. Um, so sorry about that. Yeah, you can literally put any videos and you can basically expand on this project. It doesn't have to be that this. So, yeah. And be sure to put the cars.avi uh, video, all of your stuff into the folder where you have your code. And yeah. So, just wait for it to load. And here, finally, it's there. So, uh, this is, so it is detecting the cars and yeah, it's pretty good. It's detecting. I mean, it's not that great, but it is good. It is an example of OpenCV in Python. So, just by looking at this, you can tell how powerful Python and OpenCV are. So, they are very useful programming. Uh, Python is a very useful programming language, and OpenCV is also very useful. So, Python is basically the programming language, but OpenCV is basically the thing that is like for the detection and stuff. So you need OpenCV and Python for this project to work. So, basically, yeah, um, that is basically it. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Thank you.